Thanks, Mark. And I am here with, of course, one of the pros from Dancing with the Stars, Mark Ballas. And Mark, we're going to get to your dancing in a minute. But last night you performed your music. How did it feel to get your music out there? A little different? Yeah, it, it was great. I mean, last night was very classical, very authentic um, flamenco piece that we did. And I had two other great players with me. And it was just really fun just to kind of bring that authentic, real kind of flamenco vibe, which how they originally used to do it in Spain. So it was a lot of fun. Well, it showed. It showed that you guys were having a great time out there. So you guys are back with a vengeance. I mean, here we are, season 10, and last time was the first time, I believe, that the show rated higher on both nights than American Idol, the number one show on television for all these years since 2004. What is it about season 10 that makes it so hot? Uh, I don't know, but I just think this cast is really solid. The choreography, the performances, the celebrities that have been cast, the effort that's going into it is just like 150%. And, and watching from Monday Night Show, like just some of the routines that were being turned out were just off the charts. I wanted to ask you, is it that the pros and the stars are fighting more or they're just showing it more? Because it seems like all the packages are showing these no. really intense fights. Yeah, I mean, it's not that we're fighting more. I think what it is, is we, you know, we take this very seriously. At the end of the day, it's all our job. And, mm -hmm. and our job is to train and to coach and to turn them into the best they can be. And, you know, if there's a moment where it does get heated and it's a big part of your week, you know, you have to show it. So, mm -hmm. so of course, too bad, you know, Shannon got eliminated the first week and you got her. So it was like a double whammy. Double whammy. Were you surprised about that? I was a little bit. Like, I was a little, I was a little bummed out just because I thought um, Shannon showed great potential. You know, we worked really hard and I, I thought she was quite talented actually. Like, she never danced in her life and for the, the jive she did, the Venus Wall she did, I was really impressed. And then I got hurt in the dress or something. Oh man, I'm going to be out for a couple of weeks. All right, I'll get my dad to come in and fill in or whatever. Uh, eliminated. <laughs> Eliminated and hurt, and you know, you guys can't see, he came in on, on, on one crutch. One crutch. Only one. I'm only doing the one. Yeah, but your knee is all messed up for six weeks, maybe? They're saying six weeks, but I think I can kick it in three. Oh, see, yeah. now you're going to regret that I if you go back do, on it too early. I can't deal with the two crutches. The one is fine. Um, so who's, who's the one to beat, or who are the few dancers to beat? I mean, everybody loves Nicole and Evan. Yeah. Um, who else? After Monday night, for me, my favorites were Evan and Anya. I just thought it was pure class. Like, yeah. he just is exudes this kind of like elegance and class about him and he danced really great. Um, right. I thought Nicole and Derek as a show number was just ridiculous. It was awesome. High energy. I love Jake and Chelsea's Egyptian theme. Mm -hmm. Like that whole thing, the production of that was great. Mm -hmm. I think if um, you know he can kind of swallow his nerves a little bit that you know he'll be he'll improve. Yeah. I have to address this aspect for a second which is a lot of people out there say how can Nicole Scherzinger be out there, and she's the lead singer and dancer of Pussycat Dolls, and even Evan with his figure skating, compete against someone like Buzz or, or Kate? How is well, it fair? You know, I know firsthand what it's like to work with a figure skater. I had Chris Yamaguchi in season six, and it's not, it's not easy. Figure skaters, when they skate, they do not count, and they just skate through the music, and it's no, there's no beats or anything, and their posture is all the way lean forward because they're constantly you know, skating like this, mm -hmm. where we need them lean back and right. their arms up. And Nicole, I mean. And Nicole, I mean, what she does is like, the Pussycat Dolls, it's a very, you know, modern, kind of like hip hop -y, funky kind of thing. But this right. is, this style of dance is very technical. You have to rely on your partner, especially for female, you're not in control. The partner has to be in control, so she has to allow mm -hmm. Derek to lead her through this. But I think they're both doing great, and it's going to be a struggle for them. And, and like you said, because people ex expect more of them, they're That's going to be, you know, expected to do better. Well, you are a busy guy, and I can't let you leave without talking about your solo project, yes. Waiting for Patience. You guys, uh, this is a great CD. I was listening to it last night on the way home from the show oh, and in you. the car this morning. Beautiful vocals, beautiful guitar. Tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been playing guitar and writing music for about 12 years, and, um, you know, this is something I've always wanted to do. There's no label behind it. I did it all independent, and uh, these are kind of just acoustic, honest versions of, you know, some of my stuff. So. It's out on iTunes. You can pick it up at any of my shows or what, whatever. And um, yeah, it's fun. If you like that kind of music, you'll, you'll dig it. Okay, well, Mark Ballas, thank you so much. And you can, of course, catch Dancing with the Stars Mondays and Tuesdays at 8, 7 Central on ABC. And if you happen to be in Los Angeles, Mark Ballas will be playing at the Mint on Monday.